Hi, Living in Boulder Vlog, April 14th, 2020, 11.19 a.m. on a Tuesday. So I just got up. I was laying in bed awake for a couple of hours. My downtime is in the morning when I wake up. Last night, I got to sleep at... Oh, man. I can't remember. It was like 4 in the morning, so 4 to 11. What's that? 11 minus 4 is 7, so that's pretty good. It's good enough. 7 hours of sleep. I probably actually got 5 hours of sleep, but I'm good. I'm rested. It's I'm good to go. I don't exercise at all, so I don't need as much sleep. Um, So yesterday, I actually did finish, I think. I actually did finish um, my uh, putting those images on my timeline. I'll put the link below the uh, the plate tectonics. And so then I finished the day yesterday um, doing touch-ups because before that I included the counter and I didn't like where the counter was. Um, you know, sometimes I don't know the first time exactly where I want stuff to go. I have to kind of look at it first and... I also have to attach, finish, <sighs> color coding the um, tables that the images are in so that they're color coded to their ears. Um, and then I was doing other touch up stuff because my beat, my uh, ancient history timeline is um, in a basic state. I was doing work on it last year and I saw the work there, so that was cool. But uh, I think I'm gonna do, maybe do a little bit more, just touch ups, I think all day. I'll be spending all day working on those pages. Um, and I should also check the links on all of them. I checked the links on a bunch, but it's super tedious because there's hundreds, you know. By the time you're done building them, it's just exhausting to go and check them. And I think that's probably what's the problem with me is, is that I'm so tired when I'm done building them that I don't get around to checking the links and stuff. And so then when I get back, I have it in my head that I did thoroughly check, but I kind of didn't. Uh, remember I hit a link for on the actual timeline and it was broken, so I need to find that. Because I could have sworn that all the links on my ancient timeline were fixed, and then I went and I clicked one and it was broken. But I forgot which one that was, because I because it was the first one I clicked, and I figured they'd all be broken then if the first one was broken. And then it turned out the other ones were working, so I'll find out which... I'll just do a thorough link check and just make double, triple sure that... At least the links are broke are, are working. The links that get you between the pages, you know, those are more important. <laughs> the links that take you from the um, images to the uh, Flickr. So, um, so um, yesterday I was listening to a bunch of Blinkists, but I can't remember which ones. It was mainly uh, videos about dinosaurs and different just various paleontology stuff I <sighs> figured I'd let myself do it and, and a full yawn I always cut my yawns off I did learn something interesting yesterday there's this guy called Stephen Milo he's a British mainstream archaeologist um, he likes to talk trash about Graham Hancock he did a video about the if the water lines on Sphinx are real or not, and I thought it would be scientific, but it was he was just up there ranting about. Well, how can they be? How can they be a, uh, a Sphinx if it's so old and before there's anything else there? It was just stupid shit. But he said something interesting. Um, he said that they found out that, and I didn't never heard this before. And this, I could plug <laughs> plug this into my idea of history. But he said that between. 11,800 and 8,800, so in 3,000 years, or 8,700 and 3,100 years, the population of the Middle East and the Levant went up by six times because that's when they started farming. And that's before the flood of Plato and uh, 11,600 years ago. So that must, and Plato was talking about a world society. So Plato and archaeologists actually match up. But the interesting thing is that the World Society got started. We know where the world... 
<laughs> society got started because that's when they started um, farming, you know, 11,800 years ago. And, or, or maybe they were talking about BC. Yeah, so the this the um, uh, the 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 world hit civilization with farming, um, and then they had farming civilization for like a couple thousand years, and then boom, the flood hit and destroyed every like everything, and so everybody was dealing with um, dealing with uh, just trying to rebuild society after that. But so that would explain. So there must have been some uh, technological advances where they learned stuff about like stone working that we don't know now. And so I'll plug that into my timeline. I, I did a voice note for my phone. I've got a bunch of voice, voice notes whenever I hear something, but I don't have time to like open up a page on HTML or plug it into my website. I just go, hey, voice note, and then I write it or I do a, a record note and then I'll go into them later and and plug them into my website. Uh, Hey, um, um, so today, yeah, working on the, um, um, actual ancient history timeline, I'll put the link of it below, um, um, it's, yeah, like I said, in a super basic position, so a lot of them are just, like, cut and paste jobs off of Wikipedia, so that's kind of what I was doing yesterday, just fixing them up, you know, bolding the dates, putting the dates in front of the names, unbolding the names, unitalicizing the names, just simple, simple conversion stuff. And I might continue. I think I'm going to work on that all day today. I'm just going to work on my ancient history pages. Just give it one full day of <laughs> touching up. And then tomorrow, that's when I'll get, I'll move on to, um, Oh, wait, wait, no, no, that's when I'll uh, do Google Earth of, I'll do stage one of Google Earthing the world for tectonics, where I trace all of the islands, not the little islands, but all the islands and uh, continents on top of the earth, and then file it away, upload it, back it up, <laughs> and then, um, so it's, so it's prepped. So that when I go back on it, whenever that may be, I've got something to start with. I can just start, hit the ground running and just, you know, create the, all of the different <sighs> movement of the tectonics on um, the world. Um, it's really interesting learning finally. I mean, this is why I'm working on my timeline. I want to learn this stuff and I'm, it's appalling that I don't know. It should be common knowledge for everybody, but just wanted to know what the world looked like when the dinosaurs were alive and where the dinosaurs lived, you know? The Tyrannosaurus rexes were on the western coast of America and then over the Bering Strait and lived in uh, Eastern Asia and Southeast Asia, but nowhere else. Like, they weren't in South America, Africa, or Australia. Down there, they had uh, this thing called Gigantopith Giganticus, which was similar to Tyrannosaurus rex, I think. And then um, herbivores and stuff. So, yeah, I just want to figure all that stuff out oh, eventually. I'm not going to do it in this round, but get, get charm. <laughs> hey, anyway, um, so yeah, so by tomorrow, hopefully I'll be, when I get up, I'll be like, yeah, my ancient timeline looks good. Color coded, links working. And now I'm going to do tracing of Google Earth on the world and that'll take all day and then I'll be done. So day after tomorrow, the blog will be, yay, I just got up. I'm just about to put the enlightenment books on my, finish putting the enlightenment books on my website. Last night I was laying in bed and I had one right when I was about to go to sleep and I had the idea like how I wanted to, um, I was going to say, oh yeah, I was talking about, um, like thinking about like politicians in America and Alex de Tocqueville, he wrote a book called Democracy in America in like the late 1700s. And he said that Americans, because we're so democratic, we get usually get like regular people, like not the smartest people in positions of power. But, and then anyway, I thought to myself, you know what, that's a book I want to get on my website. So I think I'm going to put that book on my website too. I'm going to go look right now exactly when it was deleted. I mean, made, but I, I read it, I listened to it and it's really good. Anyways, enough talking, talk to you tomorrow.